guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. So, for the last six weeks, I have been looking after my baby boy. So, I finally had my baby. He is very, very cute. He's currently napping, so I thought I would take this opportunity to film a very quick video um, about a few plants that are in desperate need of a repot. So I thought I would film a little repot with me, a little bit of a chat out in the greenhouse while he is sleeping. So yeah, let's get on. So I actually have one plant I'm in my echoey bathroom, so sorry. I have one plant that is in desperate need of a repot, which is this philodendron here, but it's attached to the wall and the roof, so I can't really take it off the windowsill to repot. So I'm thinking I may have to repot it while it's up there. Um, I don't think I'll tackle that one today, but I will film it when I do. That'll definitely be a project. I'll probably have to get hubby to help because I really don't want to have to pull it down. <laughs> okay, it is pretty stormy outside today, but it is nice in here once I close the doors. So I am going to be repotting my Raphidophora tetrasperma, which is in my bedroom. This guy is growing pretty big. It's still in the shitty little nursery whoop, nursery pot and their very poor soil. So that guy is going to get repotted. And I also have a, whoop, a little dish of variegated chain of hearts, which I want to pot up in a couple of pots. Um, so yeah. That is what I'm going to be doing now. So, I don't know if I want to put this guy back into a plastic nursery pot, just a bigger one, or if I want to put it in a terracotta pot. Um, my theme is terracotta. I do really love terracotta pots. So, I think I might transfer it into a pot. That one is a little bit small. Probably that size there, so I'm going to be going up a pot size for this guy. So hopefully I can... Its roots have come out the bottom, so <laughs> hopefully I can pull that out. Okay, so let me just very poorly, <laughs> very poorly pick up my camera. But these are the roots, so it's pretty healthy roots, pretty root bound. So I made a mistake the first time when these guys got released into New Zealand. I bought a few of them and I repotted them straight away and they all died. Um, so I'm not going to disturb this guy's root system too much. I'm just going to keep it super simple, um, loosen it up a little bit. I'm not going to stress about getting too much of that shitty soil out because its roots will find its way into the new soil that I put it in. So the less disturbing of the roots, the better with these guys. And the trellis, it's obviously still attached to the trellis, so I'll just plonk the whole thing into the new part. Let me put you down there so I'm just going to put this guy to the side so I mix up my own potting mix I've got a, a container over here so I'm just going to put a little bit in the bottom and then put this guy on there To try and hold the stake. Maybe I'll push that down, push that down. I kind of need like more hands to do this, eh? <laughs> so, stay. So, yeah, I've had a baby, that's crazy. He is going to be six weeks old soon which is mind-blowing it has gone so so fast but then again it also like 
has gone extremely slow. <laughs> it is very wild, it's a very wild ride into motherhood. For someone who, whoop, for someone who didn't really want kids, um, it's definitely been a crazy learning curve, that's for sure. But I love him, he is the cutest little baby. He is gonna be such fun when he gets older. Oh, what did I just break? Did I break something? Oh, I broke the support stick. That's okay. Whew, I thought I broke the stem. <laughs> that would have been bad. Oh, gosh. Okay, it turns out I'm not very good at multitasking when it comes to filming and planting. I don't know how people do it. I can't can't have a conversation and repot at the same time. <laughs> so what I like to do, if I have a steak in a pot, I like to push the dirt really, really tight around the steak so it doesn't move anywhere. And then just push it down gently everywhere else as to, you don't want to pack the soil too tightly around the roots. You want them to have a bit of breathing room. a good jiggle and that just helps lo loosen the soil and settle the soil down around the side of the pot so I need a little bit more in there what I actually did is I actually pre-wet the soil um, before I pop them just because sometimes it doesn't really absorb the water like you want it to when you um when you water them for the first time so I like to pre-wet it and then when you water your plant in thoroughly it uh, absorbs into the pot a lot better so I'm just going to restake this little piece that fell off when I was taking it out so well should I put it to the main ones gosh I don't know I need to I need to Put a couple more so this stuff if you guys haven't used it or it's amazing it's plant velcro and you basically use it to trellis your plants and you can reuse it over and over and over again you just cut it to length wrap it around and it sort of sticks on itself it has like a nice flocked backing so it protects your plant stems okay i am happy with that Let's pop it over here. Okay, let me show you. So that is her repotted into the terracotta pot. <sighs> I'm like lost my way of, of filming. I just use my phone, by the way. Um, it's super simple. Nothing flash, nothing technical. You know how it is. So, I have this cute little planter that I had a variegated chain of hearts in last time, but I sold that, so I am going to replant into that. And I also want to put some into a nursery pot, so I might just use the one that I just took the raffidophora raffid out of. And I'm going to cut it down because chain of hearts have very shallow root systems, so they don't actually need a lot of soil. So I'll just cut that, cut that down, and I will plant it in there. So basically, what I do is I have a bucket of potting mix, which is just my standard potting mix that I use for all my plants and then I so I use that as a basis so that's what I use for majority of my plants and then depending on the plant I am planting I will add some extras in so for the chain of hearts I'm going to be adding a ton of fine pumice into this potting mix which it already has a heap in but I just like to add a lot more and I will give it a bit of a mix. 
Actually, I will show you what I'm doing. So there it is there. It's just potting mix with some fine pumice. And I will give it a, a loose um, mixture because I don't want too much soil in there. I want it majority pumice. And I'll fill my little container up. I feel so out of the loop with the plant community <laughs> at the moment because I've been so busy looking after baby. I haven't really been on Instagram that much. I haven't really been on YouTube that much. Um, like, understandably, because, you know, babies take up a lot of your time. But I miss the plant community. I miss everyone. Like, what's been happening? What's the drama? What's the tea? No, <laughs> I'm not into that sort of thing. Um, yeah. I'm pretty excited for some new plant releases this year, or next year, or this season. Um, here in New Zealand, we don't get a lot of crazy cool plants, so it'll be exciting to see if we get any new releases over the, the summer months. So I'm going to, I'm maybe, okay, I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to fast forward this because it's going to be a bit of a lengthy process. Anyone who has potted Chain of Hearts or String of Pearls, you will know, it takes a little bit of time to finesse it in the pot, so... So these are the variegated chains of hearts potted up and that is my Raphnophora tetrasperma all potted up and something interesting about this plant is you don't know if you'll be able to see very well but some of the new leaves have like very fine white let me see if it'll focus fine white variegation splashes so I don't know if that's like a random mutation or well, it obviously is, but <laughs> that's pretty exciting. So I think that concludes today's video. I'm just going to hold this guy. Um, thank you so much for joining me. It's good to be back, and I will hopefully be putting out some more videos from time to time. Um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.